Lauren Johnson of Georgetown, Guyana. A troubled teenager reforms after seeing hell. My parents converted to Jesus when I was four years old. I grew up in a conservative family that obeys the doctrine of the church. When I was a teenager I became curious about what the world was. Like and the desire entered my heart. When I was 20 years old I began to pray, asking God for a job. And a husband. Nothing happened and the job never came. I searched and nothing happened, the husband did not come either. I waited for these blessings for two years. I turned away from the path of Jesus. At that time, my father had built my house on his side. I began to drink, consume drugs, and indulge in fornication though I knew they were sinful. I was angry with God and thought I was provoking him. I wanted to reach God and to get his attention, but in fact, my sins were damaging myself. God used a vessel on the street where I was. He approached me and said, You did not pass the test and failed in this test. You did not listen and you continued in sin. I met a man at a singer's house, then met another guy in that house and when the show ended, one of the boys offered to take me home. The other guy was jealous of me, and with five more men, he approached the boy who accompanied me and those men beat up the boy who was with me. I tried to separate them and I was also beaten. We went to the hospital hurt, my body was sore and aching, when my parents visited me they lectured me for diverting from the paths of Jesus. I returned to the church and reconciled to God. I was unemployed and firm with God helping my Pastor. I no longer cared about employment or husband, my only desire was to serve Jesus. They job came and a small company hired me. I was happy with my salary, my heart was no longer in Jesus but in material things. I gradually began to move away from the church and my heart became corrupted. I returned to drink, to fornication and to spend all my money on what is not bread. The first time I turned away for not being able to get a job, and blame God, now the doors were opened and even. Then I turned away instead of thanking Jesus for the blessing. My heart was steadfast in the things of the earth, my salary was high and I wanted to squander all that money. God used a vessel that came to me and said, Jesus opened the door for you and supplied your need and the payment for the blessing is to backslide from the path of God. You do not serve to receive the blessings of God. Your heart bows very easy for what you receive and if God does not open the doors of jobs you backslide because you think your prayers are not heard. Your heart is materialistic, do not be ungrateful to your God. I was a difficult person to understand. Shortly after I had backslid, I suffered an accident being hit by a car. In the bed of that hospital, I began to see the demons that came to disturb me. Every night, they scratched me. I could not do anything with the weak body. I was lying down without moving. Because of the car crash I got fractures in the bones. I started to remember Jesus and I knew I was a hypocritical Christian. In the spiritual world, there is no play, there is no middle ground, either you are a Christian or you are not. A person living a double life does not belong to God. Every night I was plagued by the demons inside the hospital. My situation got worse every day, my clinical condition only worsened. I had been unconscious for days. When my parents came to see me for the first few days, I talked to them, but on other days I could not talk. I was a vase that was being broken. I grew up in the church since I was a child and I became a teenager listening to the word until adulthood, knowledgeable of the word of God and for that reason the punishment was great. My mother said that I reached a state that I did not wake up. My father was interceding for my soul so that I did not lose my salvation. On those days that I did not wake up, Jesus appeared to me and my spirit talked to him. I was 
next to my body and I saw that the hospital was full of demons of the disease. My body was in a vegetative state. Jesus looked at me with a serious face. He said, I must give you a chance, look around. I looked and saw the demons surrounding me with a thirst to take my soul. Jesus did not call me a servant and said that I belonged to the demons who looked at me. Jesus said that I was not innocent, but someone who preferred to turn my back on him. Jesus said, thanks to the prayers of your parents, who have served me for years, this will be the last chance of your life. If you backslide once more you will have no chance of salvation and I will give your soul to the demons. I will show you hell, witness wherever you go. Celebrities in hell. A hole appeared on the hospital floor. It looked like an open volcano, and we entered through that entrance to hell. In hell, I beheld three famous people. I saw the singer Lane Staley suffering in hell, he sang in hell and his vocal cords exploded. I saw the actress Brittany Murphy being tortured by the demons that forced her to drink poison. I saw actor Bernie Mac who suffered so much that he was agonizing with pain. These three stars were in a subhuman state of degradation. This place is the home of the famous who once lived in luxury houses and apartments. Today, their housing conditions are deplorable. Politicians judges lawyers. I went to a place of important people in hell. I saw politicians and corrupt judges. I saw lawyers in hell for defending injustice, they did everything for money and they did not let the guilty people be arrested, finding the loophole that the law gave to protect them. The great businessmen and authorities are in that place, all by exploitation, ambition, deceit, and corruption. Strife I saw couples of Christians in hell for making their home a place of war. Jesus said, These couples lived arguing like two enemies, disputing the control of the home, they never resumed. Peace establishing the family union, that place in hell belonged to them. I also went to a place in hell where the parents were arguing with their children and vice versa. I saw a father in chains with his son, they were stuck together and could not be undone. On earth, they did not unite, but in hell, they have to be chained to each other forever. I saw the same case of a mother with her daughter. When they were on earth they seemed to be beasts and they came to attack one another. What made me sad was that these two families are Christian. Jesus looked at me and through his gaze, he gave me a message. I realized that I have given a lot of problems for my parents and at that moment I was dead in the hospital and they were suffering from my rebellion. I brought suffering to my parents. I wanted to return to earth and reconcile with them. Children who have a father and a mother should reconcile with them. Their parents are the most important. People on earth, ask forgiveness of them. Earrings necklaces cosmetics. Jesus also warned me that at the beginning of my conversion I walked in obedience and over the years I started wearing earrings, necklaces, and makeup. I questioned Jesus, saying that he loves. The church adorned and the Bible says that the people of Israel had to adorn their husband, even your church, Lord, speak that it is to adorn itself. Jesus looked at me and with much love explained everything. He said, Servant, the adornment of the world has no value to me. What I want is people who adorn themselves with my word. The spiritual adornments are love, obedience, purity, and the fruits of the Spirit. The church which is adorned with my word shines as the light. Every word that the church covers is as if adorned with heavenly gems. Israel was charged to adorn itself with sanctification and not with idolatry, my church is called to adorn itself with my glory. My presence will make my people shine like stars. I said, Lord, the women in my church wear jewelry. I saw them wearing them and I also wanted to wear them. Jesus answered, now you know that you cannot. No bride with the ornaments of Satan will. 
Enter my kingdom. The adornments of the earth do not belong to me. Jesus took me up to heaven by a path of precious stones. He took a stone that shone and placed in the palm of my hand. That stone shone in my hand. Jesus said, Look at this stone servant. It has no adornment, for it is the adornment itself. Do not use the adornment of the world. Be my adornment, the beauty of that stone is not outside it, but the light that shines brightly from inside it. I want a church like this precious stone, which shines by its very nature. Spiritual beauty is not in appearance but in transformation. That brilliance is a symbol. Virtue and humility of heart. They speak for the church to be a mirror to the world and reflect my image. Be reflectors of my glory and shine in holiness. My light must reflect in the church, they have to be the reflection of my light. I do not want a people who have the image of the world or follow the customs of Egypt and imitate the people of Babylon. When Jesus told me these words, he began to shine and was filled with glory. He is perfect, complete, and absolute. Marriages With his powerful hands, he made a large screen appear. I saw the earth through that screen. I saw the marriages being destroyed, a great disharmony between couples who are wild. Jesus said, Teach couples to warn against everything and learn to endure. If they continue with these crude natures they will go to hell. Jesus said, Return to earth. I will give you the ability to teach couples. When he said this my spirit returned to the body. My recovery at the hospital was very fast. My body was restored by the power of Jesus. My health improved and the doctors did not know that I was healed. The broken bones were restored whole. In my body, I preached the gospel of Jesus in the hospital. Some doctors and nurses were converted. They are proof of the miracle that happened to me. It was not for me to be speaking of my testimony, but by his mercy, Jesus gave me the last chance. I was a person who did not have spiritual stability. I could not stand when the evidence came on. Me and I could not stay in a prosperous time, my heart was stuck in material things. Today I can say that Jesus has fixed my life. I am working with people who are having a marriage in disharmony. My pastor entrusted this position to me. I have a group of women who do the work in homes, they give advice to wives who do not have the wisdom to build their house. This project is called the Ministry of Brave Women. It is a humble work that was built to help married Christian women and those women who do not know how to act with problems of conjugal coexistence. My husband leads a group of men who advise Christians who live in disharmony with their wives. The project calls itself Valiant Men. I was very happy with the foundation of these projects. My pastor built this for family restoration, where Satan has attacked. My faith in Jesus and his salvation reach all families who hear this testimony. Amen.